signal boosters! My name is Ashley Johnson, and for my first boost, I want to talk about the most fascinating man that I know. Taliesin, Jaffe. Remember Jim Henson? Created the Muppet Babies? Well, when Henson died, that is when Taliesin started wearing black. He's never stopped, purely due to his love of the Muppets and the creativity of Mr. Henson, and that's not all. His grandmother was a staunch feminist who would bop young Taliesin on the head whenever he'd look at a woman inappropriately. Now he's a staunch feminist, with the utmost respect for women. I hear he owns bees, he has more rabbit suits than jeans, and to this day, he still rocks goth. Better than anyone. Ashley Sue DeConnick. Ashley DeConnick. Oh, Kelly Sue Johnson. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that you had to see that. I didn't know you were there. Uh, I am unhealthily obsessed with comic book writer Kelly Sue DeConnick, and I love to picture myself married to her because is there anything better? Here we see us at the pyramids. And, and here, you know, is us just hanging out in space. And here is a picture of me hugging her while she's signing autographs. <sighs> Sigh. See, Kelly Sue DeConnick writes a lot of incredible comics, but one of the best, one of the absolute best is Bitch Planet. The story is set in a dystopian future where an entire other planet has been turned into a giant prison, sort of like Australia in the 19th century. Oi, crikey, but it's only for women. And why do the women end up in that prison? Well, see, this, my friends, this is where things get interesting. Where am I supposed to put my tits? It's a, um, it's actually a line from the comic. Sorry, I didn't mean to, no, you know what, I'm not sorry. Penny Roll is one of the greatest literary creations of the 21st century. The prison is only for women, but what is their crime? They aren't agreeable. Yeah, if a woman is caught talking back to her husband too often, or inquiring about, oh, I don't know, making 80% of the enchilada that men make, they are labeled non-compliant and sent to this prison planet. Think Orange is the New Black meets Guardians of the Galaxy, right? I mean, if you're like me, you're saying, wow, if this were a reality, I would have been imprisoned a long time ago. See, I've been told that I might have just like a slight problem with authority. Hey, hey Ash, look, um, I was wondering, when you say authority, could you instead- Say what, Steven? Say what? Never mind. Never mind is right. I am very non-compliant. Put me in prison. I love it. This is where I belong. Bitch planet. Fantastic comic, very well written, and the artwork by Valentine Delandro is perfection. Where am I supposed to put my tits? That is when the dead deceased spirit of Anton LaVey appeared to him, telling him to start his own temple in Los Angeles. And Taliesin has been a practicing Satanist ever since. And, okay, so in 2006, he founded the LaVey Temple in Los Angeles. Uh, you know, in Japan. In Japan, he uncovered a nest of vampires in an EDM concert. Uh, he didn't slay them, but he did convince them to become vegan and Catholic. <laughs> Elena Ferrante, declared by Vanity Fair to be one of the best contemporary novelists you've never heard of, is the pseudonym of the author behind my next boost, The Neapolitan Novels, a four-book series set in Italy and originally written in Italian, though it's Hold on, can we just, this doesn't quite feel right. Can we sort of like Fellini it up a bit? Ah, perfecto. As I was saying, it was originally written in Italian, but it's been translated due to its success, so you have no excuses. I'm not gonna do that anymore. 
I know what you're thinking. Don't judge a book by its cover. Ferrante wanted to get these books, My Brilliant Friend, The Story of a New Name, Those Who Leave and Those Who Stay, and The Story of the Lost Child into the hands of the everyday housewife in Italy. The first book follows two childhood friends, Elena Greco and Lila Cerullo, both each other's biggest fan and biggest critic. We start off with them as kids in a dangerous part of Naples, and then, through years of love affairs, bad marriages, and careers, we follow them to the present, where despite the demands of motherhood, terminal jealousy, and mental illness, the two friends still cannot exist without the other. Ferrante's books show all of the complexities of female friendship without pandering to stereotypes like frenemies or BFFs, all while giving her characters sexual agency in every possible way. In other words, she treats her female characters like real, honest-to-goodness humans. It's novel, huh? What's the greatest lesson a woman should learn? That since day one, she's already had everything she needs within herself. It's the world that convinced her she did not. That is from one of my favorite modern poets, Rupi Kaur. I've read through her debut book, Milk and Honey, nearly 50 times, and each time I read it, I find something new that I hadn't before. Her poems deal with all the good stuff, you know, growing up, falling in love, being a woman, heartbreak, heartache, and trying so hard in a world built to oppose you, us, at every turn, to become the person you wanna be. This is the book I've gifted to most of my girlfriends. But wait! You thought this was just a book of poetry. Not so fast, my budding little feminist. Rupi Kaur is also a great artist. Each poem has its own drawing from the author herself. But be wary, my young friends. Some of her art is erotic, so you know, might not be terribly safe for work. Oh, hey, Ashley. What you reading? 75 cents to the dollar, Eric. Pay me what I'm worth! Ashley motherfucking Johnson, you got this. Oh! Talison Jaffe, hi, Talison. <sighs> and scene. Listen, I know we're having fun here, but I honestly beseech you, no, I beg you, to check out Ruby Core's powerful voice. Her words and insights are indispensable and important, especially in today's environment. So we let go of the helicopter. Ah, poof, parachute. Ah, pew, pew, pew. String sword saves the Yeti. Okay, and together, Taliesin and the Yeti founded yet another charitable temple. This time, a Zoroastrian Atashkada. But none of this compares to how great and wonderful and benevolent Matt Key is. What? Sure, Taliesin is great, but Matt Key is way better. Give old Matt Key a try. That. <sighs> I didn't write this. I didn't write this. I mean, Matt Key. He writes the show. He obviously added this in. I never said this. I don't want to boost Matt Key. Just say the f words, Ashley. The Matt. Slave. They slaved over this. Every word is precious. Please. Okay. Say the, say the words, please. You know what? You're literally the only writer on the show, so you wrote this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that's and the weird. writer slaved over it. These words are perfect. Just, just it's say not the f words. Stop being such a f trapster. I don't even know what the f that means. Yeah. I don't even know what trapster is. Yeah.